Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. This prophetic word I'm about to release right now is about your firstborn and your lastborn. And you might be watching this video, you are a firstborn or a lastborn, or your family, you're not the first, but you have a firstborn, they are still alive, or your lastborn as well. Whatever the case may be, but this prophetic word concerns firstborn and lastborn. So either you give birth to them or they are your siblings. Then this prophetic word is for you. You have to listen to this word and pray at the end of it. And I mean, just be in the spirit. You're not saying this word by chance. Maybe God has set you as the one to bring deliverance to them. Hallelujah. Life as we know it is not what we see with our optical eyes. Life is spiritual. Life is, I always say life is 80% spiritual and 20% physical. Before anything happens physically, it must have already happened in the realms of the spirit. So a lot of things start from the realms of the spirit and then it ends in the physical. That is why if you would attack any problem, you have to attack it from its roots which is mostly the spiritual. Once you deal with it in the realms of the spirit, it becomes easier to handle it in the physical realms. So many of us are suffering from things that were done and established in the realms of the spirit, and yet we are using physical solutions. And it's just a waste of time, a waste of resources, a waste of everything, because there is no way you can have a physical solution to a spiritual problem or to a problem that has its bearings in the realms of the spirit. You have to attack it spiritually for you to have results. And the Lord was ministering to me. He says that so many of us, a lot has gone wrong in our lives. And we do not know it was because of a word that was spoken. It was because of a curse that was released. It was because of a word that went forth. You might not have been there. The word probably did not even come out in your days. The word was not probably even altered in your days, but it had manifestation in your days because it was speaking about you. It was spoken of you. And even though you were innocent, but you got to 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 experience it. The Bible says our, 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 our fathers have sinned and yet the children bear the cause of their iniquities. Yet the children, there is a kind of um, difficulty you go through in life and you get to, if you have to trace it back, you would see that it is coming from either your parents or your foreparents. I don't know how, but you, 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 if you get to trace it, you would see it is not coming from you. It is not your fault. You did nothing wrong. Someone did something and it was transferred to you. Now, the Bible tells us in the book of um, Joshua, in the story of Joshua after they had conquered Jericho. Of course, you know the story of Jericho already. Um, you know about the wall of Jericho. The Bible says that the, 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 the city of Jericho was shot. It was tightly fastened against the children of Israel. They did not want them to pass through the land of Jericho. And so they shut their doors. They shut their gates. And their walls were so strongly built. And it was their, their wall was their, 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 their security. Their wall was what brought protection to them. Because the wall was very high and so thick that you could hardly penetrate. It was so high that you could hardly go over. And so they were sure and certain they were protected from um, from the children of Israel. Of course, you know, one of the reasons they shut their doors or their gates to the children of Israel was because they know that wherever they pass, they possess. <laughs> So they were scared that if the children of Israel passed, they are going to possess their land or something. And so they shut their doors against them. But God gave them victory. After going around the, the, the city of Jericho and, and, and shouting as the Lord commanded, after, after doing everything God told them to do, the wall of Jericho fell. Some scholars say it fell down uh, flat. But theology actually says the wall sank. It's, it went into the ground because even if it fell down, 
even the falling down would have still been so high that they could not go over it. The children of Israel could not go over it. So the wall of Jericho actually sank into the ground, giving the children of Israel full passage into the land of Jericho. And when they got in, they, 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 they seized the land, killed everyone in it, burned everything in it. Only Rahab and her family, who, who, uh, Rahab was acted uh, as, a, as a safety, uh, Rahab um, provided protection for the two spies that were sent into the land of Jericho. So, I mean, everyone was killed. Everyone was killed. The city was set on fire. The city was destroyed. And Joshua cursed the land of Jericho. Let's read that curse together. Joshua chapter 6 from and verse 26 says that, Then Joshua made them to take an oath at that time, saying, Curse before the Lord is the man who rises up and rebuilds the city Jericho. With the loss of his first son, he shall lay its foundation, and with the loss of his younger son, he shall set up its gates. So immediately there was a pronouncement in the realms of the, of the spirit that was walking against the children of the man that will rise up to rebuild the city of Jericho. There was already a spoken word in the realms of the, of the spirit against the children of that man that will rise up to do it. So now imagine the children rise up. So this man, the Bible calls his name. What's that name? Let's get to the book of, I think it's First Kings. Let's get there and see what happens. So in First Kings chapter 16 and verse 34, the Bible says someone rose up. It says, in his day, here, the Bethelite rebuilt Jericho. He laid its foundation with the loss of Abiram, his firstborn and set up its gates with the loss of his youngest son, Sego, in accordance with the word of the Lord, which he spoke through Joshua, the son of Nun. So Abiram, who was the firstborn, and Sego, who was the lastborn, they lost their lives, not because they did anything wrong, not because it was their time to die, but because there was a prophetic word that was released in the realms of the spirit. There was a prophetic word. And because their father, Heel, rose up to rebuild the city of Jericho, their, their, their lives were doomed. They were doomed for death. They were doomed for destruction. If you are a firstborn, you're watching this video, You've got to be more spiritual, spiritually sensitive because you have to fight a lot of battles to emerge. You have to fight a lot of battles. There are words that have gone into your future. And if you're not spiritually strong enough to fight and alter those words, your reality will be greatly determined, not by you, but by people who have gone ahead of you, especially firstborns. Um, very in very rare cases like this one, we see um, last bonds being mentioned. But there are a lot of battles against first bonds. There are a lot of battles against them. A lot of powers want to overthrow them. A lot of things want to bring them down. So as a first bond, you've got to be more deliberate with your spiritual life. You've got to be more intentional in praying, in, in, in canceling the verdict of the devil that is over your life. I want to pray right now for anyone under the sound of my voice. Maybe you are a firstborn or you are a lastborn or you are in a family where words were spoken against you. It was spoken maybe to your parents or to your grandparents, but right now it is manifesting against your life. I pray for you in the name of Jesus and I cancel every evil verdict against your life. I cancel every evil word that is working against your life by the blood of Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus over your life. I'm a shataya. I speak the blood of Jesus. I cancel every evil verdict, every evil report against your life, every evil word, every evil 
curse every evil pronouncement that has been spoken against your life i cancel it right now in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah did you receive this word with gladness may the lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace the shalom of the lord nothing missing nothing broken in the mighty name of jesus amen god bless you have an amazing day shalom